What's good, everybody? It's your boy Chris, aka Mr. 545 for the TV in the building. Look, we back with another wave video. Um, I've been kind of missing out of action lately. Um, business been picking up, so that's a good thing. So I'm back with some knowledge about some waves. You know what I'm saying? So after the intro, we're gonna talk about what to do and what not to do after getting a fresh cut. All right, be right back. like subscribe comment and hit the post notification bell so you get all notifications every time i upload we tell y'all this all the time um as youtubers because if you just come in and you don't say nothing youtube will probably delete that subscription i mean if you subscribe and don't say nothing youtube will delete that subscription so uh make sure you always you know like the video watch two minutes of it um uh, make sure you comment down below you know, just kind of help us out and so that you'll get all notifications every time we upload. You know what I mean? All right, so let's get into the video. All right, everything I'm about to tell you is pretty much um, research that I found on the Wave pages, Elite Spins, uh, Waves Our Life, WRL, uh, which are two good pages really to get a lot of good information. I'm always on the pages. I might not say much. Uh, sometimes I comment, sometimes I post, but I might not say too much, but Everything I take from the OGs and those who are, are really way knowledgeable, um, I always write down. You know, and this is one topic that has been a really big topic. Um, and that is what to do before the cut and after the cut. All right, so let's get into that right now. All right, so pretty much this is just an opinion. You know what I mean? What might work for my hair might not work for your hair, but this is something that I've seen that works. Um, I only note down things that um, work. I actually note down everything, but then I start to weed out things that doesn't work for me because you know you have a different texture, you got a different hair porosity, all this stuff matters. Um, your 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 coarse. If I got a medium texture hair, I can't do things that a coarse texture hair person would do or a kinky texture hair person would do, all right? So, before the cut, make sure you always wash your hair. Do not ever go to a barbershop, or yeah, pretty much a barbershop in the public and have your hair full of um, product, oils, uh, pomades, all that type of stuff, because that type of stuff damage clippers, and clippers are not cheap. Barbers spend a lot of money on clippers. I got some Austria fast feeds that I spent almost a hundred and something dollars on. You know what I'm saying? So I try to keep those at the best tip top shape, um, cosmetic. And also, you know, with all that product and all that type of stuff in your hair, you know, you're clogging the, the clippers up and bacteria, hopefully that your barber is sanitizing his clippers. If he's not, get out the chair, go find another barber. <laughs> But yeah, make sure you always wash your hair. That's one of the key things there. Second thing is make sure you comb with the grain. With the grain is going this way. The same way you brush your hair, comb that exact same way. Against the grain is of course against going backwards. Going against your normal hair pattern, all right? Um, some of the shampoos that you can use are some clarifying shampoos.
see the, uh, the leather start to pick up. So, um, wash it out. Do it again. Wash it out and do it again. Just do it. So, that's so you can get to the point where your hair is super clean. All the product is out of your hair. Alright, here's one main thing a lot of people talk about um, with um, washing your hair after your cut. Uh, if you wash your hair after you cut and you're deaf for your progress that you have to do it, it is it was never there for you. It was never there for you. Scramble wash your hair uh, while washing. Your hair has to be set. Your hair has to be set. Uh, so you can't really blame anybody for anything that happens to your hair when you know it is set. One thing I did see on the pages is um, there was a debate about I think Sir Cruz had a video. So that was the video Sir Cruz said, you know, pretty much don't wash your hair after you um, I pretty much, you know, I, I go by that. Sometimes that hair kind of come down a little further than what it was. Like right now, my hair is kind of up. But if I could put a do rag on, my hair lays down more when I take the do rag off because it's compressed. So, you know, sometimes the hair is kind of up. You know, it's quite good. You know, if you are a barber yourself, you know, you can kind of cut your hair. You know, if you wake up in the morning, see a little bit of hair.
Thank y'all for watching the video. Make sure y'all like, subscribe. Make y'all coming again. Join the 540 game.